Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. Your direct purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see here on our channel or our website, thewatchbox.com. Email me at tmasso at thewatchbox.com. Today, we're discussing an entry in the 2019 Grand Seiko Seasons series. This dial in lush green designed to evoke the verdure of spring. The timepiece, also known formally as the Grand Seiko Heritage High Beat SBGH 271, 40 millimeters in stainless steel and hand finished. You can see the watch is impressively contoured, measuring 13.3 millimeters thick. And if we include just the lug to lug dimension of the case, then it's 47 millimeters. If we include the solid end links of the bracelet, then it is 50 millimeters. The bracelet itself is handsomely executed, stainless steel like the case, and you can see alternating link alignment, link size, and link polish. With satin finish predominant, some polished highlights, a little bit of a beveling to transfer to the flank, and as you can see, the flanks themselves of high polish. The removable links are held in place by screws. This is not a titanium bracelet. Grand Seiko uses pins and sleeves on their titanium bracelet. Here screws, and you'll note the presence of half links to allow you to size the bracelet precisely. There is a single fold deployment clasp that is hand finished the way the case is, with handsome polish and satination, and a twin trigger release so this one cannot inadvertently pop open. Now that we've taken a look at the hardware, let's zoom out real quick and take a look at the watch on my wrist. My wrist 16 centimeters in circumference wears the watch well. Only about 13 millimeters across the or I should say, atop the wrist, that's the thickness, 13.3 millimeters. The watch wears easily underneath the cuff or sleeve of any kind. It could easily be your dress watch if you wish it to be, but it's also steel, automatic, and 100 meters water resistant, so it can fairly claim to be a sports watch. I would recommend the watch for a wrist as small as 14 centimeters circumference on the bracelet, 13 and a half centimeters circumference if you were to use these strap tool apertures in the lug and fit a strap, which you could absolutely do. You can note that the case is handsomely finished. The shape itself is inspired by the 1967 62 GS, which was the first Grand Seiko automatic watch. So this is a heritage design, albeit executed with modern Zeratsu tin plate polishing. So everything that's polished is to the standard that would be known as poly noir or black polish on Swiss watches. That kind of finish is generally executed on small movement components like regulators and screws. To see it executed on a case is breathtaking. And you can see it is not a simple case. Curves and creases both satin and polish in juxtaposition. It's an immensely complicated shape and to create this polish, the artisan holds the case directly against a spinning tin milling surface. No other tools are used and yet millimetrically precise and symmetrical from side to side. Now the dial sits underneath a lovely box section sapphire that must have been expensive to machine and spec, as flat sapphires are far cheaper than going with this kind of cambered look. The dial has a texture designed to evoke foliage and a dark green coloration. It might not come across in the video, but it is effectively a dark green, like British racing green, but with a pronounced metallic tinge. There is a sloped rejo outboard that allows you to read the minutes and the seconds, and then you have yellow gold satinated and polished dial furniture. The Grand Seiko logo, the indices for the hours, the hands, the frame for the date, all of that finished by hand. Artisans who use diamond-tipped milling tools, micrometric artisans who create these tiny sculptures, and then they are placed by hand on the dial. This is a handmade watch outside and in, and in. We have, and this is very new, so we're going to protect innocent parties with the serial masking. This is caliber 9S85, adjusted to six positions, one more than the chronometer standard of five. Grand Seiko attests that it will run minus three plus five seconds a day. Remember, chronometer is minus four plus six. It beats away at 36,000 vibrations per hour, pivoting on its 37 joules. 36,000 vibrations per hour, the same as a Zenith El Primero, and you are correct, that is 10 beats per second. That's why the seconds hand sweeps so smoothly. Watchmaker made, watchmaker regulated, this is a handmade watch inside and out. It features both stop seconds and a quick set date refinements you're going to want to set the time and the date precisely. Feel the pull of spring, my favorite season, with the Grand Seiko SPGH 271 from the Heritage Collection. Email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.